Beard and Bikes, take one. Hey, there's no way around it. Without pedals, you're not going to get too far on your favorite whip. Today I will show you how to remove and install your pedals. Though there are a wide range of pedal types, all pedals will be installed one of two ways. Either by using a pedal wrench or a six or eight millimeter hex key, depending on what type of pedals you have. When installing the new pedals, you'll also need grease. First, let's start with removing the pedals that are currently on the bike. We'll start with the pedal wrench method. Beginning on the drive side, place the pedal wrench around the spindle. You'll get the most leverage if you've got the wrench at about the three o'clock position. Push upwards and forwards on the wrench to loosen the pedal. Then continue to turn the wrench counterclockwise to remove the pedal. On the non-drive side, we'll have to work backwards to remove the pedal. Place the wrench at about the nine o'clock position. Push up and forward, then keep turning the wrench clockwise to remove the pedal. If you're working with a hex key, the same principle applies. On the drive side, insert the hex key into the pedal and turn counterclockwise to remove it. On the non-drive side, turn the key clockwise. You may be wondering why pedals install differently depending on which side of the crank they're attached to. This is because pedals are threaded to prevent them from over-tightening as you ride. Check the spindle to determine the correct position. R for right, or the drive side. L for left, or the non-drive side. Before installing your new pedals, make sure the threads on both the pedal and the crank are clean, and lightly grease the pedal threads. On the drive side, start by threading the pedal spindle clockwise by hand. Then, tighten with the pedal wrench by placing the wrench at the three o'clock position and push down and clockwise until the pedal is tight. Repeat this on the non-drive side, threading counterclockwise. When it's time to tighten, place the wrench at about the nine o'clock position and push down and counterclockwise. Again, with the hex key, place the pedal into the drive side crank and turn clockwise until tight. Repeat on the non-drive side, turning counterclockwise until tight. And now, for the last step, take those pedals for a spin. You can find all the pedals and the tools you need to install them at trekbikes.com or your local Trek retailer.